Sarah Dickens reporting. Well, joining me now is Roger Lewis, the chair of the Cardiff Capital Region. Um, let's pick up on Abertillery then. We saw it in the film there. What difference should the people of Abertillery feel if this city region is a success? The, the people of Abertillery need to feel that there is, there is a future for them. There is a real equality of opportunity within this proposition, that there's something that they will be directly involved in and they will benefit from. Because at the heart of what we're trying to achieve with the Cardiff Capital Region is something that's transformational, that will give real economic benefit and difference to everyone throughout the region. Which are warm words, but when it comes to jobs and money, surely those are still going to be concentrated in the capital itself. That's not going to trickle down to Abertillery, is it? No, what's at the heart of what we're trying to achieve is a connectivity. We need to link up all of the ten authorities throughout the region and at the, at the heart of that proposition is the metro project which was referred to within, within the film because that metro project we feel is something that is transformational, something that will make a fundamental difference to the region. Yeah, and uh, many people would back it, but the cost, five billion the latest estimate, where's that money going to come from? Yes, the total cost over a 25-year period is a, a, an eye-watering sum of money. We've got to start somewhere though and we've begun. Cons Considerable work has been uh, uh, has under, been undertaken by Welsh Government, by some of the local authorities. We're building upon that work and we're presenting that work to the Minister later in June and with, with a, a, a real sense of journey and destination of how we can source the monies. So, so it will happen, will it, this metro? I'm confident it will happen because it has to happen. And the money would come from central government, but also these ten local authorities, where you know money is so tight at the moment. Well, the key thing is this unity of purpose. So around our board, we have four of the ten authorities. We're working with government. I was with the Minister of Finance today, Jane Hutt, yesterday with my minister, Mrs Edwina Hart, with her support. It's got to be cross-department, cross, cross, department, cross ministerial department, working with Welsh government, working mm. with local authorities, but also working with Europe and also working with the DFT in London. Right. Uh, You've been meeting ministers, you say, and one thing in Elizabeth Hayward's report, there needs to be a minister dedicated to this if it's going to work. There isn't at the moment. Does there need to be one? Well, the strength of ourselves in Wales is that we are... Our, our size is, can be our weakness, we're small. Our strength is that we're small. We know uh, the ministers, we are a close team. Uh, the board is a close team. There's a real unity of purpose around the board. There's a, a unity of purpose within government, but also across party as well. Because the important point to, to emphasise here, the nature of the project, which will be 5, 10, 15, mm. 20 years, it has to be able to survive the political cycles and so that means we have to at times remove it from the political arena we need to dip in dip out but work in partnership with all the parties well, what's the model here because Elizabeth Hayward again in her report suggested Vancouver maybe she suggested Edinburgh Manchester I mean uh, what what is the model and, and and she also talks about the dangers of how on earth do you break down tribalism and parochialism now if there's one thing we're good at in Wales that is that isn't yeah. it so how do yeah. you tackle that Th there's lots of great models around and particularly you European model. Stuttgart is most probably the exemplar uh, in Europe, which also has huge support from Euro European funding. In the UK, the best model would be Manchester and how Manchester came together. And to uh, affect the, uh, address the, the tribalism point, what I'd emphasise is that round the table we have four of the leaders of ten authorities and we're regularly talking to the other authorities. I'm still not clear what the difference will be for people living within the boundaries of the city region. You know, if you live in Cardiff, you live in Cardiff. If you live in the valleys, you live in the valleys okay you might have a metro why are we all going to suddenly feel right they live in a city region what, what difference will we see day to day there will be an overarching strategic approach to create critical mass to drive the region forward for the benefit of all what does that mass. mean would, yes. what does that mean that means the ten authorities come together to work together to align their strategies Do you think all they of will? their strategies yes I'm confident we will because we have to and what benefit will make is that we need to figure out where do people work where do people live and where do people play? And we need to plan that on a regional basis. So if you live in Abbott Tulare and you work in Cardiff, we need to make sure that you are truly connected and can connect with that uh, to have that opportunity. Because economic growth, economic growth is never is ne is never sort of um, d equally distributed. Okay. So we need to give people the equality of opportunity to connect with that growth. We heard Elizabeth Haywood say, "We haven't got a Ken, we haven't got a Boris. We need these charismatic leaders." 
Are you that charismatic leader? No, I am the chair of the board that is driving this forward to the next step. The reason I say that is that we are doing, if you like, the hard yards at this stage. We're, we're, we're doing it not for political um, ambition, we're not doing it for remuneration, we do it because we want to make a difference, we think it will make a difference, and what I've always said is that when we feel we've got the governance right, when we've got our metro project right, and as part of government policy, we as a board need to say, are we the right unit, the right people to take this forward? And we might well step back and ensure that there is a chairman, a chief executive, a leader, statutory authority that can drive it forward. Yeah, because you've still got the day job. Uh, this is not paid. You're doing it in your own spare time. You're a volunteer in a way. Um, what, it, what is the game plan then for Roger Lewis? I mean, politics, surely you've, you've led the Yes campaign. Is that where you're going, maybe? I have no political ambition. I've been very open about that. I just feel we, as a board, as a group of people, need to do the right thing for Wales. And if people like ourselves don't step forward, well, heaven help us all. We owe a great debt to Wales. This is now time to pay that debt back. Right, so we will never see Roger Lewis in the Assembly or, or in Parliament? I, I don't envisage that, that, uh, that uh, scenario. Well, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you.